In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Brother MFC L2710DW. Now, this is a black and white or monochrome laser printer that has a scanner, fax, and copier built in. I'll leave a link to it below the video in case you're looking to buy one. The 2710DW is a relatively compact device for what it offers. It measures in at about 16 inches wide by about 16 inches deep by about 12 inches tall. The body is made from grey and black plastic and has a very commercial look to it. The design isn't offensive or poor, it's just built to be very utilitarian. It has a very 90s or early 2000s vibe about it and no effort has been made to bring it into this millennium. The printer was fairly easy to set up and I have a separate video that walks you step by step through the entire process, so feel free to check that out. Once set up, you can print to it or scan from it using any mobile device or computer in your house. The wireless functionality works really well and the Brother Eye Print and Scan app worked very well on Windows, Mac and mobile devices. Just a simple yet robust app without any funny glitches. I also like that unlike more quote unquote modern printers from companies like HP, this one has an extensive control panel on the front with buttons and menus to change several settings on the printer. I I can't tell you just how much I appreciate having this functionality, especially in an office setting where you really don't want to fumble through an app to make a copy. This lets you walk up to the printer and make copies with just a few button presses. It even has dedicated buttons that allow you to make copies of ID cards and even make automatic copies of two-sided documents. When it comes to scanning documents or making copies, you have two options. You can use the 50 sheet automatic document document feeder that allows you to scan, copy, or fax multiple pages at a time, or alternatively, you can use the glass scan bed, which works better for more detailed scans. And while it does only print in black and white, it can scan color documents and images. The scan quality is also pretty good, and scan files can be stored as images or as PDFs. And as with most scanners these days, you can scan multiple pages into a single PDF, which is a super useful feature. The print quality is crisp and good enough for almost any office environment. I also like that it uses Brother's popular TN730 cartridge, which can print up to 1200 pages before running out, and it's very reasonably priced. You can increase your print yield per cartridge by using the TN760 toner cartridge, which more than doubles the number of pages you can print on a single cartridge. I'll leave links to both cartridges below in case you're looking to buy some. And the print speed is pretty good. It'll keep Keep up with any laser printer in the office and it's definitely faster than any inkjet printer on the market and in case you're wondering it does make double-sided or duplex prints the closed paper tray holds up to 250 sheets of paper as large as letter or a4 for sheets as large as eight and a half inches by 14 inches you can use the manual paper tray right above it the manual paper tray will also handle envelopes and other odd paper sizes another thing I like about the print system in general is the sheer number of jam clearing compartments. It has several convenient compartments that you can quickly open to clear jams. Again, a great feature for a small office environment. And though this is designed to be a wireless printer, Brother thankfully equips it with an Ethernet port to hook it up to small wired office networks. They also provide a USB port on the back that allows you to connect it directly to a single computer, both of which are very useful features for a small business or a home office. I'll leave links below the video to the Ethernet and USB cables you will need if you choose to go with the wired option. It does also have a fax built in, though I'm not exactly sure who uses a physical fax machine in the year 2022. However, if you are one of those three to five people on earth who need it, it does have a fax. So should you buy the Brother MFC L2710DW? Well, that all depends. If you're looking for a reliable, simple, black and white, all-in-one laser printer for your home, home office, or small business, this is the one to get. While the printer's design is a bit dated, it makes up for it with an extremely easy to use and robust interface, excellent print quality, and an app that has no serious glitches on any platform. However, if you need 
need a color all-in-one, I recommend upgrading to the Brother MFC L3750 CDW. I'll leave links to both printers below in case you're looking to buy one. Hope this review has been helpful. If it has, please hit that like button. And if you have any questions or would like to share your experience with this printer, leave me a comment below. Please also consider subscribing so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And if you're already subscribed, please hit that bell icon so you receive notifications as soon as a video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.